The Letters module allows you to create personalized documents, emails, and reminders for efficient patient communication, marketing, physician referrals, and more. Benefits include saving time by efficiently communicating with as many patients at once, growing your practice with powerful recall and marketing tools, and automatically tracking correspondence history for HIPAA compliance. The Letters module provides you with the tools to create letters from patient demographics, prescriptions, appointments, orders, and exam data stored in My Vision Express. You can create multiple types of communication, such as an exam summary letter, promotional emails, and address labels. Perform mail merge to create custom emails, letters, labels, and postcards. Create and send individual and batch letters and integrate with email systems to send mass emails. This video will demonstrate how to modify an existing letter, add a new letter, and how to create a letter using tables. To begin, go to File, Letters. By default, it will open with the Search tab open. I'm going to click the Letters tab. This is where we have our current list of available letters. You'll notice that you have the letter name and the type of letter that it is. From the Letters tab, you can delete a letter by clicking the Delete button. You can also copy an existing letter by selecting that letter and then click the Copy button. To modify this existing letter, you'll first want to click to highlight. I'm going to use the exam summary as an example. Next, you'll want to click Letter Details. One very big question that often comes up is how do I delete the My Vision Express logo? You can do that from this Letter Details by clicking and backspace on the keyboard and that will remove the My Vision Express logo from appearing on your letters. So you'll want to do that for each individual letter where that My Vision Express logo appears. Once you remove the My Vision Express logo, you can put in your own logo. Even if you've entered your logo in the company information setup, you will still need to enter the logo on any letter that you want that logo to appear on. To do that, you'll first want to copy and paste the image of your logo onto a Word document. Once the logo is on your Word document, you can right-click the image and then click Copy. And back in My Vision Express, you can go to that section where the logo was inputted and do right-click, Paste. You can then modify the image. Anything else that you would like to change about the letter, you can also do in the letter details. You may notice these strange brackets with some words. These are called merge fields. What that signifies is that the information that's routed to this field will populate in the letter, which will allow you to do multiple letters at one time. If there is certain information in any of the letters that you don't want the merge field to be applied, you can simply click and backspace to remove the merge field. To change the merge field, you have your drop-down list here. This will all tell you where the field is located and what information will appear. When you've chosen the merge field that you'd like to use, you can click the cursor where you want it to go and then click the Insert button. When modifying any merge fields in an existing letter, we recommend replacing any merge fields that you do not wish to include in the letter. Otherwise, the merge field direction will print in the letter and the informa information will be altered. To create a new letter, go to File, and letters. Click the letters tab. 
and then click the Add button. A blank field will appear at the bottom of the letter name column. Enter the name of the new letter here. Keep in mind if you'll be sending letters via email, the letter name will appear in the subject line of that email. You will then want to select the type of letter from the Type drop-down menu. This will determine which module the letter will be accessible from and will also determine the available search criteria field. Once you've given the letter a name and chosen the type of letter that it will be, you can click the Letter Detail tab. This is where you can create the design and content of the letter. You can enter text and merge fields. You can do a combination of these to generate your letter. So you can manually enter, and depending on the information that you want to pull from the patient's profile, you can choose that from your merge field dropdown. Click the cursor, and then click the Insert button. You can also enter any images that you'd like, the same way that you attach the logo, where you would first paste it onto a Word document, and then paste it onto the Letter Details tab. Once you've finished this letter, you can click the Save icon, and close. When adding a new letter in My Vision Express, you do have the option to use another word processor, such as Microsoft Word, to create a letter and apply advanced formatting, such as tables, font colors, text boxes, and more. I'm going to go ahead and open a letter that I've already started with Word. These here that have the asterisk marks, this is usually what I recommend you do if you do plan to use a merge field when creating the letter in My Vision Express. So these we can replace with merge fields once we import it into the program. For now, you do want to give yourself some kind of indication that you're going to be replacing that with one of the available merge fields. What you can also do with a Word document is create tables. To do this, click Insert, and Table, Draw Table. We can draw our first row. Once you've done that, if you want to enter a row underneath it, you can click Insert Below. Let's say you want to split this into sections. You can click Split Cells. You have the option to choose the amount of sections that this will be split into. And Insert Below. We'll change this to 2. And Insert Below. If you want this to be completely open, all you would need to do is click Merge Cells, and that will remove the lines. You can then enter in your own text. Once you've created your letter in Word, you'll want to save it as RTF, or Rich Text Format. Appointment letter, save as, rich text format, and save. Once we close this, in My Vision Express, you can go to File, Letters. I'm going to click the Letters tab. If this is a brand new letter, you can click the Add button 
and give the letter a name and the type of letter that it will be. I'm going to use our test letter. And then under letter detail, you can choose insert file. Locate the letter and open. Now we can replace these with some merge fields. Don't worry about those arrows, that's just saying that there's a space in between. So I just pick the date, date today, and insert. I can take this one out and find the company name. Click and insert, insert. So you can modify something that you've imported. It'll still always give you the option to enter any merge fields that you'd like after importing the file. Once you've made your modifications, you can click Save and Close. And now you've added a letter from Microsoft Word. This concludes the letters tutorial. For additional information and access to our help files, you can click F1 on your keyboard. For our knowledge base, please visit support.myvisionexpress.com.